Today I'm gonna take you through an easy warm-up routine to get your right hand and your left hand moving before you start really playing guitar for a while. It's about 10 exercises and you can get it done in about 10 minutes. So why don't we hop into it? You're gonna wanna make sure your guitar is already in tune and then we're going to make sure we have a metronome app downloaded. This is the one I prefer to use called Pro Metronome and you're gonna set it to 95 beats per minute. The first exercise that we're gonna do is the spider exercise, counting one, two, three, four on each fret, and each finger gets a fret. We're gonna go up all the strings and backwards. Two, three, four. You're gonna wanna make sure that you are alternate picking, which is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's gonna be the smoothest way to practice these exercises. And let's get into the next one, which is gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A great way to stretch out your fingers is to kind of do a little gymnastics here on your leg. You can stretch them out forward and backward. Don't press too hard and then roll out your wrist. All right, let's do threes. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You should be feeling a little bit more warmed up now. Now we're gonna switch it into two. One, two, three, four.
Now, even when I'm practicing, I make a little mistake here and there, but I just keep going. That's the point, is to challenge yourself and you just keep getting better. Now we're gonna move on to single notes and this is gonna feel a lot faster. One, two, three, four. Feel free to go all the way up the neck. We're gonna switch up the pattern a little bit. It'll be one, three, two, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now you can do that in double time if you would like, and that's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. Make sure that you're still doing alternate picking. It's just gonna really help with your timing. Think of individual notes as strums, but in a micro form, right? So that's how we become really good rhythm and lead players at the same time. The next variation is gonna be one, four, two, three. One, two, three, four. All right, let's try that double speed. One, two, three, four. When I start doing exercises like this, I sort of like zone out and meditate a little bit, but it's important to still also be like quite alert and really listening to the metronome. Sometimes I sway a little bit and that's because I just am not focused enough, but give yourself a little bit of grace. This is practice. It's all about practice and that you show up to do it in the first place. 
The next and last exercise that we're gonna get into is just a simple climbing exercise. So we're gonna be practicing switching strings. You're starting on the fifth fret here and you're gonna go. Thanks for practicing with me today. I hope that you feel a bit more warmed up and ready to play as long as you want. If you struggle with stretching your fingers out because you're a beginner player, you can start in the center of the neck up here where the frets are just slightly smaller and it makes all these exercises a little bit easier. You're gonna notice a huge difference in your playing when you play with a metronome more often. It's just gonna tighten up all the screws, make your rhythm playing a lot stronger, and you won't feel the need to either push or fall behind the metronome. Playing with a metronome at first can be quite challenging, but if you really wanna be a guitar player, you gotta get that down. And I know you can do it, so. All right, well, thanks so much for practicing with me today. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and like this video. I hope you pick up the guitar today, and I'll see you in the next video.